hi everyone and welcome back to our channel salesforce faqs and today in this video we are going to discuss one of the most important feature in salesforce that is salesforce big objects and by the end of this video you will understand what are big objects in salesforce and how to create them and how to add indexes and custom fields and also i will explain what are the key difference between the big objects and standard objects in salesforce that is s objects so first we are going to see what are big objects in salesforce so big objects in salesforce are advanced data structure that, that store and manage large amount of data and when i say large amount that means they can store a record in billions of number and they are used to archive data from other objects or, or bring in large data sets from outside systems so we can say big objects are designed to store massive amounts of data on the salesforce platform and that too without compromising the performance and these big objects are useful when we have to archive data manage logs and analyze the data that is being stored for a long period of time so the key features of big objects are they can handle billion of records and they are designed for scalable storage and they are very helpful in archive the historical data and the big objects are read only object for the end users that means data in big objects is mostly immutable after creation for example after creating fields and indexes in salesforce big objects you cannot edit them and in this video i am also going to explain you how you can create custom fields and index fields in salesforce big objects and you might be thinking that we already have a standard and custom objects in salesforce then why we use big objects so the difference between the big object and s object first is the massive data storage that is big object is used for the data storage of long data history and s object are used for everyday transactions and the data volume that can be stored in the big objects is billions of record while in s objects there is a limitation of org storage limits and to query the records of big object we require index fields and async sql and while the s objects are supported by the traditional sql and ssl queries and if we talk about the access level of big object and s objects so where the big objects are mostly read only and on the other hand we can perform crud operations on the s objects like create read update and delete and from the viewpoint of data retention the big objects can archive historical data and on the other hand the s objects have operational and real time data so in short we should use s object for real time operation and big object for storing vast amounts of historical data that you don't need to update frequently so let's move ahead and see the process of creating big objects in salesforce so as of now i logged into my salesforce developer org and right now i'm on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here we need to navigate on the big object setup for that we have to go to the quick find box and here search and select big objects and then select and now in the big object setup you can see this new button you have to click on it so now we have to enter the required details to create the big object so here we have to enter the label plural label and the object name so here in this example i am going to enter the big object name as archived logs so this is going to be a object that is going to store a large set of records and after entering the label you have to enter the plural label so the plural label for this will be archived logs and the object name will be autofilled according to the entered label and as of now we can see the deployment status of the big object is in the state of in development after completing the whole configuration we will make it to the deployed so as of now we will click on the save button so now we can see the as object is created as of now and to complete the big object setup we have to define a custom index and and before defining the custom index we need to define the custom fields so how we can create the custom fields for that we have to go to the section custom fields and relationships here we have to click on the new button and here you can see in big objects there are limited number of data types that are available so here we can create custom fields with lookup relationship date and time email number phone text text area long and url so here i'm going to create custom fields for the data type text and date time so for that first i will select the field as text and then click next so this text field is going to be a user id so i will label it as user id and then i will enter the length and the field name will be autofill and here we will click next and here again click next so this custom field is created so here we will click save and new 
so the next custom field is going to be a date time so i will select the date time field and then click next so we will enter the field label as record time stamp and we will make this field required because it is compulsory the field to be required to, to make that field as indexed so after making this field as required we will click on the next button and here again after selecting the visibility we will click on next and at last i will add one more field that is again going to be a text field so again i am going to select the data type as text and then click next so this is going to be the event type and then i will enter the length so the option of picklist data type is not available for the big objects so that's why i have selected the text field for the event type and here i'm going to enter the help text so that we can know for what this field is created so here i'm going to enter the help text with the values of event type and for this field also i am going to make it as required and then click next and at last click on the save button so as of now we have created the custom fields now it's turn to make this field indexed so so for that we will navigate to the index section and here click on the new button so here we have to enter the label and name for the index also so here i'm going to label the index as new event index and the name will be auto field so in the index field you will only see the required field means the field that are not required to create this record will not be eligible to get indexed so here we have to in select the index position for these fields for like one and two and the index direction you have to select as ascending or descending and after selecting the index position and index direction you have to click on the save button so as of now we have created our custom big object so the last step that is remaining is to deploy this big object so i will go back and here i will click on the edit button and now in the deployment status i will change it to the deployed and click on the save button so this is how we can create and deploy a custom object in salesforce and also we have discussed how we can add custom fields and index those custom fields for the big objects so this was all about creating a custom big object in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye